Hello and welcome back to Flexo.expert Builds. You know, I was thinking about the original description of the flexographic process as it was suggested in 1952. And I think it is missing something. It's true, it is a method of rotary letterpress printing which employs flexible rubber plates and rapid drying fluid inks. But this description is missing the function of a very important component of the printing system, the inking roll, the analox. Whether we use an open blade or a closed chamber system, the ink is metered, sheared and split into single droplets contained in the engraved cells of this roll. So the principle of flexography is like having a glass that is filled with some liquid and we touch the surface with our hand. When we release the contact, we would have a certain quantity of liquid on our hand. For sure, not all the liquid that is in the glass. Then we press this onto the surface that will receive the imprint and this would result in a certain spread of the liquid. Well, let's not forget that our hand will still remain a bit dirty after this. In reality, the proportions are different. We are not touching a big glass, but rather several small glasses, like shot glasses. And when we lift our hand, we will have a number of droplets on our skin in correspondence with the openings of the small glasses. And be careful, they are not necessarily blended together at this point. We squeeze them on the surface that will receive the print, and here the droplets spread and can blend together and possibly create a plain solid coverage. But sometimes we know this doesn't happen so nicely and we can observe some little residual pinholes in the laydown. We know it depends on many aspects such as the characteristics of the liquid, the impressions exerted, the durometer and the roughness of our hand, well, of our printing plate. But primarily it depends on the distance between the openings of our small glasses. That's why we say that the Anilox roll is the heart of the flexographic printing process, and that's why its specifications are a fundamental basement of the quality of the flexographic printing process. I hope this video appeal was useful for you, and don't forget you can take your basic training in flexography on flexo.training, and if you need any more advanced or customized training or system calibration, you're welcome to contact me at any time. Ciao!